Welcome everyone, my name is Danny, this is TechRage, and today guys I'm just going to be showing you my Ubuntu Mate desktop. Now I just figured I'd do this because heck this is one of the reasons why I love using Linux and I didn't say like, I said love, it's because there's just so many options, there's so much customization, there's so much like um, there's so much of a personal experience that you can have you know with your desktop and like really make it yours that it, it really transforms what you think you know when you're using your desktop and like you know when it when it comes to just using a desktop period and you know for some people who might not understand that like I get it it could sound weird I'd, I'd probably think the same way too you know especially like going like what four years back four or five years back but um, my perspective has changed a lot and so uh, yeah so I figured I'd show it you know show you what I themed how I changed it to my liking uh, so right now I got my terminal open. So I'm on Ubuntu Mate 18.10. Uh, what is it? Uh, yep, same specs as before. Nothing has changed really. And um, yeah, you know, it, it's just um, it's a really nice, like you know, easy on the eyes type of theme for me. So right now I'm using the um, Kodger Light theme. And also the Validus icon pack, and I'll be showing you guys how I did that. So, I'll just show show you guys like how the theme like blends into my system. So you see, like um, I got like this really cool white background with this uh, blue highlight in my menus. I really love the the icons. It really does go nice with the white background. And so, uh, yeah, like I said, this is Ubuntu Mate. And uh, one of the reasons why I actually decided to use Ubuntu Mate was because I started getting tired of the whole flashiness when it came to desktops, you know? I just wanted one that was minimalist, but also not so traditional, you know? So, uh, you know, not the traditional, like, start menu, you know, same thing you would get on Windows. So that's why I figured to go for a GNOME 2 experience. And honestly, it's great all around. I got no complaints whatsoever. Uh, it just works for me. And that's, this is just to show you, um, you know, the theme right now. So you see they have like this, um, I forgot, the, the Koger icon. I forget. I think that's how you pronounce it. Koger light icon, which is pretty neat. Uh, yeah, and the icons just blend really well. Like they really pop out at you. So I, I really love that about this theme. It goes into the menus as well. I don't have any problems with it. In terms of like going into applications actually that's a lie <laughs> um when i was applying this theme i noticed that in kden live that there was an issue with the theme um being implemented the gdk theme working with kden so i had to make sure i just disabled any themes on kden and everything was working just fine but there were some issues with color contrast that's the, depending on which button you're trying to use and it was kind of weird so i just took it off even though it looked nice for the most part so um yeah all right, so moving on so going to customize uh yes so it's the Koger light theme um yeah, I applied the borders as well too, and they're pretty nice. You know, they capture your attention. And then this is the Validus icon pack. And I didn't change anything with the cursor. But yeah, you know, just to show you, you know, what my desktop is about. Plus, um, you know, I plan on making more videos similar to this and how I customize my Linux desktops because I realized that I just enjoy customizing it, making it mine right but also making a step further and just sharing those you know those pictures of like you know the elegancy and just you know the eye candy so that's why you know that's what i'm doing this i figured i'd do a video form of it um there are communities that do do this and i really suggest for you to check those out if you don't know of any uh, about them there's one called um, unix porn which is great and yes i did say porn um it works really well like uh you see a lot of people in the community um posting their configs let me see if i can find it right now uh it is you can find them on reddit Ooh. okay so let me show you right now right there unix porn 
and they are great when it comes to configurations. Uh, submit your screenshots of your Nix desktop themes and nifty configurations or submit anything else that will make ricers happy. So yeah, it's just a really cool community of people sharing screenshots of the configurations, you know, regardless of what desktop environment they're using. So window tiling managers, which you'll see a lot over here. Um, KDE, GNOME 3, you name it, and people really go all out. So I would really suggest for you guys to check this out. It's really neat. Um, there's also another community that I follow as well. I don't know if they work hand in hand with Unix porn, but it's called iCandy. You can find them on Google Plus. Um, I think I saw that they're on this new social media platform called MeWe. They're also really helpful too. So I would really suggest for you to check that out as well. They're called iCandy. Um, but yeah, I'll be leaving the links down below for you guys. You know, I just figured I'd share that because it's really neat, especially if you're just getting into Linux and you want to see how far you can take it in terms of customization. I'm telling you, oh my gosh, like I, I didn't know it can go to such an extent, like the elegancy, the minimalism, if you want that, you know, like, like there's just so many ways you can go about it. And it's just so freaking neat when you see these things come to life. And so I really suggest for you guys to check this out. You know, like the configurations, like stuff like this, are endless. You know, and and you can't do this on Windows, which kind of which really sucks. You know, and even if you can, like, uh, there, I know that you could use like like what was it, rain rain meter, and like um, other stuff too to make it. You know, to change it up and stuff. But the thing is that I've I've done that before in the past. I've even purchased some themes through rain meter and through um um other websites i forget like i implemented a doc and like all this other jazz and um i just found that it wasn't really worth it because at some point it would bog down my system or it'll just um it'll mess it up it, it just wasn't you know it wasn't there but when it comes to linux just customizing it's just you know the one of the few problems you'll have is probably like kind of contrast issues but aside from that for the most part it should work just fine unless the theme isn't being supported anymore so then you'll come across maybe like a you know an application crashing maybe but you know just be you know watch out for that if you whenever you're uh, implementing a theme just make sure that it's being supported and you, you know something like that you could just avoid but with windows it's like you're always you're more vulnerable to just downloading a virus right from a theme that some person made you know and it's just um thankfully thankfully you know on linux it's not like that I've, you know, changed up my, my many systems, my many different desktop environments. So I would just suggest, you know, checking that out. And, uh, oh, this is freaking beautiful. But, um, yeah, so just enough of this. Um, now I want to show you guys how I installed it. So it was actually really easy to, to install. Um, if you guys don't know of this application, you can find it. It's called OCS Store. You can find this on the opendesktop.org website. So um, basically what it is, it's a app image, right? And um, of the website. And what it does is that it collects all the different websites that let you theme your desktop and it puts them all together in like a one, a run um, electron wrapper. I mean, app image, like, a, like basically just a wrapper. It just keeps everything, you know, tight knit within this program and then cool thing about that too is that you can also apply themes here as well so it really does help out in that case so it really helps out in that case too because um yeah it lets you download them it lets you apply the themes and uh, it's such a, it's a neater experience to have you know so let me show you how this works um so I have it installed here. Let me go to themes. Now I can select based on the environments. So if you have KDE, you can select KDE. Cinnamon, if you're on Linux Mint. Uh, GNOME, so I'm on GNOME. So I'm gonna click on GNOME. And at least when I click on that, then it specifies. And it also changes to the website. So I can specify here GNOME 2, even though I can apply GNOME 3. But um, yeah, it's fine. And then I can go here and then, you know, it selects based on two categories, the latest themes that were recently uploaded and then the top based on rankings. 
and so yeah you can scroll through all of these like look at look at this one paranoid looks really interesting uh, but it's also important to look at the date when it was created and also see yeah, check the change logs see because the last time it was implemented it was 2010 so if i go to files right which is where you can select the theme and implement it you'll see that it's not here so i would recommend it you know that's why it's always important to just check it out you know um when it's you know if it's being supported or not and so yeah you can just check based on here uh let's see victory jdk theme and there's a whole boatload of themes that you can go through it's amazing and the cool part too is that you don't have to you know rely on unless you already use these websites so you know it just makes it a little more convenient but you don't have to worry about implementing any PPAs or anything like that. You know, everything is just tied together and it makes the experience a lot more easier. So you see, once I clicked on this theme, um, click on product, I get the basic description of whatever the developer decides to leave in. Um, also, you know, since they're doing this for free, consider donating to guys. So go to files. Then once you go here, then you see OCS install and then you click right there. So this is a specific function that works only with the um, the app image. I want you to do that. It says continue installation. Yes, and then it should continue. Yeah, hey guys, sorry about that. So uh, I actually was experiencing uh, a quick issue. Uh, it had to do with, um, what was it? The o OCS application, but don't worry, it's it's already fixed. Um, they actually had the latest version already out, and I was using an earlier version, so you know, looks like that was a bug that they since patched. So something to worry about. So uh, yeah, back to what I was showing you before. So um, yeah, when you want to install a theme, you want to just make sure you know you go to files, go to OCS store here, click on install. Then it says you know you want to continue installation. Click on yes. Then do you want to install? And then it gives you the type. Of theme so that's super important so you know click on okay and there we go it's over here at the bottom so all your themes will be listed below for anything that you download and it's super neat right because um say for instance you didn't want to download it straight through the OCS store maybe you want a direct download so you can click on there download continue and then you can choose wherever you want to save that theme so very neat I really suggest you guys check it out. There's reviews too. And um, yeah, like I said before, ch check the change logs, make sure that it's being updated. Mm -hmm. Check out the dates. And uh, yeah, so this is how I did it, guys. It's really useful. Check it out. Um, there's a lot more to this application from what I was looking at earlier. Well, there's applications, so on and so forth. But for me, I just use it for theming, and that's it. It looks like they have add-ons that you can do yeah applications games so you know it's a it's a really neat way of you know having it all tighten in and it just you know what it makes it more convenient for the linux desktop and so you know i recommend it i've had no issues with it aside from that little hiccup at that moment but that's pretty much it so uh yeah that's it guys um i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know if the, you guys have any questions um any themes that you guys recommend because you know there's a whole plethora of themes you know so please let me know and uh yeah i'll be sure to check it out all right guys so i'll see you guys in the next video